Hi, I'm Paul Dayball from Niagara College. This is a small tutorial on how to do some fundamental word processing using Microsoft Word. We're going to work on a basic two-page document with uh, some tabs in it. The first thing uh, we should work on is making sure that we turn on these little blue marks. The little blue marks are formatting marks. Uh, example, this means paragraph and this means tab and the little uh, dots in between mean spaces. Uh, it's important that we understand uh, what extra characters we have on the screen so that it makes it easier for us correcting the formatting. Right now, this document is in monospace type, which means that every character is the same width. That's why the I is the same width as the M. We're going to turn that over to a proportional space type by doing a select all. I'm going to hold down the command key and hit A for select all. I'm going to go up here and uh, turn that into times type. Okay. Next thing I'm going to do is to set up this document uh, so that my uh, margins are correct. And under format, I'm going to go to document. And my um, Microsoft Word is set up in inches and yours may be set up in centimeters. But it doesn't really matter because what if I type 0.5 and then I put the uh, double quote mark, it'll automatically convert that to whatever system you are set up in. So it would convert it to centimeters for, for most people. So I'm going to put 0.5 and then here I'm going to put 1 and then the double quote mark. And you'll notice that I'm using my tab key to move through all of these uh, various um, input areas. So if I just keep tabbing down, I can put one and uh, the qu double quote mark, and that's inches. Now my document gets set up. I mean, that'll look a little better when we're finished the document. Uh, the top two pieces are going to be in a sans serif type. I'm just going to use the basic Helvetica. Um, they are going to be both Helvetica bold, so I'll make them bold right now. The top line uh, is 24 points, and I will go up and type that in. And the bottom line is going to be um, smaller at about 12 points. And that's what uh, goes right here. Those are going to be right flushed. And right flush means that it lines up on the right hand side and is ragged on the left hand side. So that is right flush. I'm going to put some space after because I'd like to put a line in here. So I'm going to just select a little bit of this. And since I'm going to do paragraph formatting, I don't need the whole paragraph, just a portion of it. I'm going to go to paragraph format and I'm going to put some space after. Uh, here, I'm going to put a space of 24 points. It's much better to do this than just hit line returns or returns uh, on the keyboard uh, because now we have total control. So if we don't want as much space, we can make it 20 points, let's say, or we need a little more, we can make it, you know, 28 points. And that's how we put that space in there. I'm going to draw a line here. Normally I would do this right at the end, but I'll, I'll do it now while I'm here. Um, I'm going to draw a line by going to shapes line here. And to draw the line, I'm going to start here and work backwards. It doesn't really matter which way I go up my line. The key here though is to hold the shift key down. I'm going to hold the shift key down on my keyboard and then click and drag and then let go of the mouse first. And that way I get a nice straight line. See, even my mouse moving up and down doesn't make the line unstraight. I'll put it there. Now I've got the line selected. I just need to nudge it over a bit. But if I just push the nudge key, the left right arrows on the keyboard, you'll notice that it moves a whole, whole bunch. So I'm just going to uh, just move it over ever so slightly. So I think we're kind of stuck where, where it is right now. Microsoft Word, not the easiest to draw in. But that'll be good enough for what we're doing. The next couple lines are going to stay in times. So we're going to make them bold. And here we're going to use the centering. And we're going to center it right there. The top line is going to be 20 points. Can see that I do that over here and I hit the tab and it, it just does that. And uh, the bottom line, you know, you notice here I am selecting the entire line because I'm doing ca uh, character formatting. This one is going to be 18 points, slightly smaller than the one on top. And it's going to be italic. So it's a times bold italic. Now I want to get a bit of space after this one. So I'm going to select this, go up under format the paragraph 
and I'm going to put some space after of 12 points. And that'll start to break out this area. I'm going to come back to the chart in a few minutes. I'm going to do this uh, first. I'll, I'll do the bullets first and we'll do the rest of the document. I'll come back and do the tabs at the end because that is really one of the tougher parts. I'm going to select uh, these bullets here and uh, the bullet points um, are going to be times. You can see up here 12 point. I, I'm going to put 12 in here. And you'll notice that I have the bullet, which is option eight and a tab character. Tab care is important to make the bullet actually work. How I'm going to do, do this, I'm going to pull the bottom part across. Now let me, let me explain to you that the top part here is first line. It controls everything on the first line of a paragraph. The second part is what's called the hanging indent. It controls everything after the first line. And in this case, it controls everything after the bullet. And the bottom part is a left indent and it controls everything. So I'm going to go over a little ways and then I'm just going to pull the top back, which will pull my bullets out. And see, now I have total control over how far away those bullets are from that. And that, that looks pretty good there. Now that I've got that done, I have a couple more bullets that I need to do that to. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select this and I'm going to go up here. It's up here and it's the copy formatting. I'm going to copy this formatting and I'm simply going to select all this and it should do that formatting. Now, interestingly enough, it did not do the indent here and it shows it up here, but it doesn't actually do it. And I've noticed on sometimes on Microsoft Word it does and sometimes it doesn't. So here it is not working totally correctly. So you, you might have to actually um, do it again on some of them. Okay, so I'm going to select all of that. I'm simply just going to copy this over. I'll pull this across and pull this back. So the formatting doesn't always work and that's why in the next lessons I'll be showing how to use style sheets that really do make that work. Okay. Going down, um, there is three dots here. Kind of hard to see. There's three dots and those are spaces. I'm going to remove those because I want to get a proper indent. I want to get a proper indent here. So I'm going to select this portion and I'm going to indent that to about the third character. Now, this is also 12 point type. So I'm going to select everything from here to the bottom of the document. And I'm going to make it all 12 point because that's what it's going to be. Now, you'll notice that I, I tried to scroll down, but it's too difficult and it's hard to get it all. I'm going to go to the end of the document. I'm going to scroll back up to just under here. I'm going to hold down my shift key and select and that selects everything between the two clicks. And I'll make all of that 12 point type. There we go. So I have the indent. You'll see that I pulled that there. And let's see if we can get the formatting to work this time. I'm going to select this. I'm going to scroll down here and select some of that. And it still didn't do the indent. And that is the problem with this program. Although it says it's going to, it doesn't always. So I'm just going to pull this over and I'm just going to do the indents individually. I'm going to get rid of the, the spaces. And I've got a few of those. I'm going to select those two paragraphs and just pull it over to do the indent to about the third character. So I'm, I'm thinking that's about, about there. Okay, so I've got all the indents done. I got all the spaces gone. All right, let's see if we can do these now. Uh, these are like subheadings. And um, how I'm going to do that is I'm going to make them 12 point. They are 12 and I'm going to make them bold. They are not indented because they are a subhead. And I want to put a space before, a space before this one, uh, just to make it look a little nicer. So I'm going to go up under format, format to paragraph. 
and I'm going to put uh, maybe, uh, I don't know, eight points of space before. That should look good. There we go. Let's see if we can get that to copy the formatting. Click, and then we'll click here. There, that one copies. So we'll copy that, and we will go down. And I think that's the only two. That is the only two of the subheads. So there, we have that subhead and that subhead. Don't worry about the spacing just yet. We'll, we'll get rid of a lot of those extra spaces and we'll make it look better as we go along for spacing. Now let's deal with the chart. And the chart is probably the hardest thing for most people. Tabs are difficult for people. And you'll notice that we have a tab character here, but what we don't have is up on this line is the tab stops as to where we're going to stop the tabs. This chart is all going to be 10 point type. So I'm going to select all of this chart and I'm going to make it 10 points. These are going to be bold. And the first line is going to be bold. Now, we could start by lining up these first, um, the, the subheadings. But really, I think I'll start with the numbers because those are the hardest part to do. And then the subheads will just line up over top of those. It's not that difficult. I'm going to indent this a little bit by pulling the bottom. That gives me a left indent. And I'm just doing it by eye. It kind of looks okay there. Here's the trick, though. The, all of these numbers have decimals. Now, if they didn't have any decimals, I would just use a left tab. And if they were just rows of names, let's say, I would use a left tab, and then I'd use a right tab for numbers. So it, it just it, it, what makes sense, right? Numbers should line up on the right-hand side, and text should line up on the left-hand side, and decimals should definitely line up as decimals. So to do this, I'm going to go over here. I'm going to select decimal. That's right here. It's all the different types of tabs that you can do. I'll go on the ruler and I want to go between just under the numbers and above this gray space here. So I'm going to have to click right there and move across. Now if I pull, now I'm holding the mouse button down. If I pull down, you notice the line disappears. I'm just going to go back up until the line appears and then I let go. Then I'm going to go over here a ways and then I'll grab my next one and make sure that the line is there before I let go of the mouse button. I'll put another one on. I'll put another one on. At this point, all I'm doing is getting, make sure I have one for every, every column. And now what I can do is move the last one out to where I think I want the last column to be. And then I can move all these other ones around by moving the little tab stops. Now, watch, if I happen to get an extra one, it's not a panic. All you have to do is click on it, pull down, let go, and it disappears. All right, let's see if we can Make that look a little nicer. I think that looks pretty good. Now I'm going to select a bit of this paragraph. Now this one, I'm going to use center tabs. Well, that kind of makes sense because I'm going to center it over each one of these columns. I'm simply going to go here, click, hold, and center. July is over that one. June. And all I'm doing is clicking. You can see I can move it around, but I'm just, I, I'm basically clicking uh, right where that center is. And I'll move this one back a little bit. Now to copy it down, um, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't, but um, you can select and you can say copy the formatting and then you can grab a couple and it should do it. So I'm copying the formatting and I'm pulling it down. You can see I click here. Um, you'll see that's highlighted so it means it has some format in it and then I can copy that down. Now under the last um, line. I want to put uh, 12 points of space. I can either put 12 points of space before this or after this line. It doesn't really matter as long as the space goes in there. I'm going to go to format paragraph. I'm going to put 12 points after. And you can see that that just makes the, the chart stand on its own. I'm going to go down here and I'm going to deal with this one. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to indent uh, this a ways, pull the top back, and just to make this look nice, I'm just going to pull this in until it, whoop, thank goodness for undo. Okay, I'm going to pull just that piece. 
what I did was I pulled the entire blue and you can see that's a problem, right? Because it, it actually changes the margins. But I'm just going to pull this portion in. And then I'm going to pull this just, just so I get the thing, just so I get it centered. There's a problem here. That's not supposed to be there. That's just a mistake. So we're going to take that out. And we're going to put a little bit of space before each one of these just to make it look nice. So I'm going to go format the paragraph. I'm going to say four points before. Well, I only have this one problem and I'm simply going to hit a return here to push that to the next line. Um, sometimes that's the only way to really do that. I guess we could do it through formatting and stuff, but it kind of works right. And there you go. Document all done. Some basic word formatting.